something going on here. Watching all the minis. I was uh, looking at the ES, so that's the one I got. Plus five. So we got a channel busting out of the channel. Got a nice strong push. Got a pullback alert and a ricochet, but on top of that we have our speed tick, which tells us that the orders coming into this bar are so much faster than what was coming into these bars that it it pretty much got to be retail traders. I mean, uh, not retail traders that are doing this. It's got to be the big boys. So then we get our rock star and pulled back, hit our target. Now, so we've got a downward bias here, right? So the trend is heading south. Uh, and we expect that to continue. We know that we're likely to have a pullback so often but the expectation is this little trend is going to continue so I'm watching the RTY now at this nice drop continuing to drop now it's oversold and we have a pullback alert and we have a speed tick so as long as it doesn't pull back too much further we're going to look for a rock star on the open of this bar We get one, I'm going to buy it. And I did. And I'm done. <laughs> that was really fast. But that's exactly what I did. Price came down, pullback alert, oversold. That's this uh, turquoise colored outline. Speed tick, this bar opened with a rock star. I bought it right when it opened. And off it goes for our for our winner. And now where it goes from there, I don't know. I don't care. It could continue down. It could pull way back here and keep going. We don't expect that to be a a, a reversal. We just expect it. You know, we have a high probability of it being at least a small pullback, and that's that's our sweet spot. That's our edge. Whatever happens afterwards, it doesn't it doesn't have anything to do with us. The information that we have about what's likely to happen here is what's going to happen right now, not five minutes from now, not ten minutes from now, right now. 